191 шахеды. Шахид 129. Шахид 136. Дроны Шахид 136. Шахид 136. Дрон. Слышно Шахид. Нарадский Шахид 136. You know what's funny about Western media? They spent years telling us Iranian technology was primitive, that Iran couldn't build anything more advanced than a bicycle. But then something happened that made every Western general lose sleep at night. A drone. A simple drone that costs less than a used Toyota became the weapon that broke the back of NATO's billion-dollar air defense systems. And it made America put a $60 million bounty on the person who designed the Shahed. Even John Wick had only $20 million after four movies. So this goes beyond Hollywood. And here's the part that really stings. When Iran first sent these drones to Russia, the entire Western media laughed. They mocked it, called them flying lawnmowers, said it proved how desperate Russia was. But now? Now America, Israel, Turkey, China, and 12 other countries, everyone is racing to copy it. So what changed? Why did a drone that Western experts called worthless suddenly become the most feared weapon on the modern battlefield? And why are countries spending billions trying to recreate what Iran built through an entire program for the price of a luxury car, not billions, not even a million dollars? That's what we're going to expose in this video. And trust me, by the end, you'll understand why the Pentagon is terrified of a weapon they once laughed at. So buckle up, because this story is about to destroy everything the West told you about Iranian technology. Let me take you back to 2022. Russia received shipments of Iranian Shahed 136 drones, and immediately, Western media went into full propaganda mode. Russian desperation, primitive Iranian junk, flying mopes with explosives. CNN, the BBC, every single outlet was laughing. They showed footage of the drones with their distinctive buzzing sound, comparing them to World War II planes. They said Russia was so weak, so pathetic, that it had to beg Iran for scraps. But then the drones started flying, and suddenly nobody was laughing anymore. Because these primitive drones did something nobody thought possible. They humiliated the most advanced air defense systems the West has ever built. Let me paint you the picture. Ukraine had everything. American Patriot missiles costing $4 million each. German Gepard systems. British Star Streak missiles. French Crotail systems. Billions upon billions of dollars in cutting-edge Western technology, all designed to protect Ukrainian skies. And yet, these $20,000 Iranian drones, drones powered by a Chinese moped engine you can buy online for 200 bucks, were getting through. Not sometimes. Regularly. Here's what Western media won't tell you. Ukraine had to fire Patriot missiles, missiles that cost 200 times more than the drone itself, just to try to stop them. And even then, the success rate was embarrassing. Do the math. Iran sends 10 drones, $200,000 total. Ukraine fires 10 Patriot missiles to stop them, $40 million. Even if they shoot down all 10 drones, Iran has just bankrupted Ukraine's air defense budget. And if even one drone gets through, it destroys a power station, a fuel depot, or a command center. This is asymmetric warfare at its most brutal. And it gets worse for the West. These drones have a range of 2,500 kilometers. They fly low, so low that radar can barely detect them. They use civilian GPS technology that costs almost nothing. The airframe is made of composite materials that don't reflect radar well. And because they're launched in swarms, 10, sometimes hundreds at once, even if you shoot down half of them, the other half will complete the mission. But here's the part that really made Western generals panic. The cost of stopping these drones is destroying Western economies faster than the drones themselves. Think about it. Every time Iran launches a swarm, Ukraine has to make an impossible choice. Fire expensive missiles and go bankrupt. Let the drones through and lose critical infrastructure. Either way, Iran wins. And this is why, despite all the mockery, despite all the propaganda, countries around the world are now desperately trying to copy the Shahed 136. Turkey has announced its version. China is mass-producing similar designs. Even America, 
the country that laughed the loudest is now studying how Iran achieved this. Because Iran didn't just build a weapon, they built a blueprint for defeating Western military dominance, and they did it for the cost of a luxury car. The Shahed 136 proved something the West never wanted to admit. You don't need billion dollar budgets to win wars. You just need to be smarter than your enemy. And when a country that has been under sanctions for 40 years, 5,000 sanctions more than any nation in history, can still produce a weapon that makes NATO's trillion dollar military nervous? That's not just embarrassing, that's a complete strategic humiliation for America. But despite all of that, the worst part is still ahead. Now you might think the story ends there. You might think the Shahed 136 was Iran's big reveal, their ace card, and now the West can study it, copy it, and eventually counter it. Wrong. Because while America is still trying to figure out how to stop the Shahed 136, Iran has already moved on. They're not just improving the design. They're building an entire family of drones that will make the Shahed 136 look like a toy. And here's the part that should terrify every Western general. These new drones are being designed specifically to counter every defense system the West is now deploying. Let me introduce you to Iran's next nightmare. First, meet the Shahed 136B. Remember how the original Shahed 136 had a range of 2,500 kilometers? Well, Iran looked at that and said, not enough. The Shahed 136B has a reported range of over 4,000 kilometers, and it costs the same price, $20,000. Same moped engine, same cheap components. But now it can reach any target in Europe launching from Iranian soil. Think about what that means. Iran doesn't need to sneak drones across borders, doesn't need to position them near enemy territory. They can launch from Tehran and hit Berlin, from Tabriz and reach Rome. And because it's using the exact same low-cost design, the economic equation doesn't change. Stopping it still costs 200 times more than building it. But that's just the warm-up. Because Iran isn't satisfied with just extending range, they want to make these drones unstoppable. Enter the Shahed 238. This is where Iran stopped playing games. The Shahed 238 abandons the moped engine entirely. Instead, it uses a turbojet engine, the same type of engine you'd find on cruise missiles. And suddenly, everything changes. Speed? The Shahed 136 flies at around 185 kilometers per hour. Slow enough that even old Soviet anti-aircraft guns can shoot it down if they get lucky. The Shahed 238? Over 700 kilometers per hour. That's nearly four times faster. Fast enough that by the time radar detects it, air defense systems have seconds to react. And remember, these still fly low. Still come in swarms. Still cost a fraction of what it takes to stop them. But speed isn't even the scariest part. The Shahed 238 reportedly uses advanced guidance systems, not just GPS, but terrain mapping radar and optical recognition. That means even if you jam GPS, even if you try to confuse it electronically, this drone can see the target and adjust course in real time. And yes, it's more expensive than the Shahed 136. Estimates put it somewhere around $100,000 per unit. But let's put that in perspective. America's newest air defense interceptor, the SM-6, costs over $4 million. That means Iran can build 40 Shahed 238s for the price of one American missile. 40 drones. One interceptor. You see the problem now? And here's where it gets truly insane. While the United States, with its trillion dollar military budget, is still struggling to develop a cheap counter drone system, still spending billions on Patriot missiles to shoot down $20,000 targets, still years away from fielding anything comparable. Iran is already planning to retire the Shahed 136. Let that sink in. The weapon that humiliated NATO, that changed modern warfare, that every country is now desperately trying to copy. Iran considers it old technology. They're moving on to faster drones, smarter drones, longer range drones, drones with artificial intelligence, drones that can hunt in packs and coordinate attacks without human input. And the West? The West is still trying to reverse engineer the flying lawnmower they mocked three years ago. This is what happens when you underestimate your enemy. This is what happens when you spend 40 years telling yourself that sanctions will cripple a nation's technology. 
And then you wake up one day to realize that nation just revolutionized warfare while you were busy printing propaganda. Iran didn't just build drones. They built a production line that can churn out thousands of these weapons faster than the West can afford to stop them. And every single day, while American generals hold meetings and commission studies and debate billion-dollar defense contracts, Iranian engineers are in workshops designing the next generation. Drones that will make today's nightmares look like ancient history. So ask yourself, if the Shahed 136 already broke the Western air defense model, what happens when the Shahed 238 enters mass production? What happens when Iran fields drones that are faster, smarter and more lethal? While still costing less than a luxury sedan, the answer is simple. The West loses. Want to know how Iran's next generation drones will make this look like child's play? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because what's coming next will change warfare forever. This is Eastwind Brigade, where our voices unite and we rise together.